Hey guys, what's going on? Joel here, and welcome to Back in the Day. I uh, hope everybody had a great summer. Um, today is actually the second official day of, uh, of fall, so uh, I was really hoping to get another video out before the end of summer, but uh, unfortunately, uh, just things kind of went a bit awry, and by that I mean that was my own fault. Um, this last Friday, I had, had every intention of, of making a video, um, I unfortunately kind of uh, set sail with Captain Morgan, and um, I guess you guys can do uh, do the rest or, or you know figure the rest out. So uh, yeah, I was a little too under the weather uh, that night, and by under the weather I mean I was completely shit faced. And doing a video was the last thing on my mind. Um, I had I, I, well, truth be told, I had contemplated it, but I was like, yeah, nobody wants to watch the drunken ramblings of a uh, game unboxer. So. Uh, that being said, I figured, you know, hey, let's go into fall, and uh, let's go ahead and unbox Street Fighter 2, a game that I have a lot of just really great memories uh, playing, uh, Summer 92, actually. Uh, I've told many a story of how I uh, kind of got into this. Not even so much got into it. I remember playing it in the arcade, and then uh, I guess the, uh, the, the the main story that I, I always tell about the, uh, the, the, the Super Nintendo release of it was there was a, uh, a store not too far from where I lived uh, called Wegmans. It's actually a pretty big size uh, grocery store um, that had started originally up in New York State. It was, it was where I, I was living at the time. And I guess it's now made its way down into several other states. I, there's some down here in Pennsylvania, I, down near State College, which if uh, anybody's not familiar with State College, that's where uh, the Penn State campus is. So uh, anyways, had gone there to rent a Super Nintendo game, and I had seen they were just getting ready to get these. Uh, they had just got the shipment of in. They were gonna be getting them ready to actually go into the rental boxes. So I came, I left, and I came back sometime later when they were available. Um, and I rented it for God. I probably kept this thing for the better part of three or four days. My apologies if you hear crashing in the background. My retard dog has decided he wants to run circles around the house again. So um, this was such a uh, such an awesome fighting game. One that I I just loved, enjoyed so much, uh, just had a really great cast of characters. Um, I know there are some people that were, you know, more the, the Mortal Kombat. I myself was always a, uh, always a Street Fighter 2 guy. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and get this out and take a look. Kind of felt like doing a Super Nintendo one as well. Uh, good Vibe Collecting, uh, he unboxed um, Super Base is loaded, and I thought, you know what, I haven't done a Super Nintendo game in quite some time, I th think Super Castlevania 4, or no, Super Mario Kart was the, was the, the last one I had, had done, but, uh, the iconic cover with Blanca plowing over, uh, I always call him Ryu, I'm sorry, I, I can't say Ryu, I know this pronounced Ryu, but I, I can't say it, I gotta call him Ryu, and, uh, and Chun-Li. And, uh, Screenshots. This was a pretty damn close uh, port of the arcade. I mean, it was almost spot on. Get ready to rumble. 16 megs of hard-hitting martial arts action. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and open this up. So, actually, as you can see, too, it's in uh, the one little... Tiny little nick here on the uh, on the top. Other than that, it's in it's in fantastic shape. And actually, as I look at this, I've, I don't even think I've opened this up since I purchased this. I got it uh, on, on eBay. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is obviously the plastic baggie for the game. So, yeah, there we go, plastic baggie. And let's go ahead and take a look here at all the inserts. So here we just have the uh, consumer information booklet. Nothing spectacular. 
uh, Capcom registration card. Monthly drawing for a free Capcom game. And then of course the Nintendo Power advert. I think this is the one that was customary with the uh, Super Nintendo in the 1991-92-ish era. Not sure. Oh, and here's a little uh, Capcom like a, not an advert, but a you know, products list. Ooh! And as you can see here, a free hit pack. Or as we called them back then, fanny packs. Nobody rocked a fanny pack like a, like a soccer dad. A list of uh, Capcom games. Street Fighter 2, Magic Sword. Which I don't even know if that was ever released or not. I don't know. Super Wolf and Ghost, Final Fight, UN Squadron. And over here on the Nintendo side, we had. Oops. Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, Gargoyles Quest, Mega Man 4, Mega Man 3, G.I. Joe. Barcelona 92, which I think that ended up, I think this actually ended up being uh, Capcom 1992 Gold Medal Challenge. Disney's, Disney's, uh, Disney's Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, Chippendale's Rescue Rangers, Little Nemo the Dream Master, Snow Brothers, Yo Noid. Capcom, check it out. Just some of the Game Boy games. So it was just essentially a big, uh, just a big advertisement for Capcom for their Super Nintendo and Nintendo Game Boy games. So I didn't even uh, didn't even realize that was in there. I may have opened this once when I bought it. I mean, I bought this a few years ago. Um, some of them I just opened up, make sure all the contents were in it. Um, and then, other than that, that was it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the game real quick here. The game itself is in actually really nice shape. Very crisp, clean label. Actually, Good Vibes Collecting had mentioned this on his last video. These were always my favorite style. I didn't like it when they, they revamped the cartridge and took this piece out. I knew why they did it, because of people just essentially yanking it out and breaking... Uh, but I, I prefer this style, I guess. Just my personal opinion. And he had also said, too, that uh, at some point they stopped including the dust covers, which I, by then, I think was kind of out of gaming, so uh, I don't remember that. But uh, I always like the dust covers. We would always and then have them in the Nintendo like that, so you didn't lose them. So... Go ahead here and take a look at the instruction manual. This is actually this manual's in beautiful shape. You're getting started. I apologize. It's hard to kind of get these on on the screen completely, simply because how the you know these are so elongated. Controls. It's funny the, the the first three days that I had rented this because it was like it was super cheap. It was like ninety nine cents a day, um, which back then was like super cheap because it was usually like like a dollar twenty five or a dollar fifty. Uh, I think some places was like a dollar seventy five for for the night back in the early nineties. Um, so like Wegmans, it was you did this like card club member it was like for their entertainment they had this little like it was like movie rental and video games and stuff but it was 99 cents and you couldn't beat it but uh yeah anyways i i rented it i kept it for three days and i did not know at the time that you could go in and change the uh the button configuration so i was blanca is my 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 absolute favorite character or he, he was at the time so all the hard 
punch and kicks were at the top, so I mean, I about killed my fingers uh, playing. Close attacks, special moves. battle mode, using the option mode. <clears throat> and then the uh, World Warriors, Ryu. He was born July 21st, 1964. That would put him... How old would he be? Terrible with math. He'd be old. I don't think he'd be street fighting much. E Honda was born in 1960. It's kind of cool that they went that uh, that whole that whole route of like even giving the the birth date and the blood type and the poundage. Never understood it, but it was kind of a kind of an interesting little thing. Ken was born on Valentine's Day. Only 5'10", huh? <laughs> Chun-Li's weight unknown. Yeah, because women don't like to divulge their weight. <laughs> Zangief, I believe, was the oldest fighter. Born in 56. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Dalsim was. 1952. Street Fighter 2 merchandise. You could buy a watch, a t-shirt, a volley hat, a poster, or a combo pack. Limited edition trading card, stickers, and patch. Don't think those are offered anymore. Get a free Street Fighter 2 combo pack when you super purchase Super Girls and Ghosts. You know, and I did purchase Super Girls and Ghosts when I was a kid. I didn't get a combo pack. Probably had to mail something in, though. So, and then Blanca on the back. All right, guys. So, that would be everything. That's the phone ringing. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. And uh, hopefully get back with one again next week. Till then, uh, you guys have a great day. We'll see ya.